Today we're going to be talking about how you choose software for your financial firm. Uh, we're going to be talking through kind of some different domains of software that you might use. But as you're thinking about these different domains, and if there's one thing you take out of this, it's really thinking not just how do I find the best financial planning tool or how do I find the best CRM, it's how do all of these pieces work together? So how do they integrate and talk to each other? And also beyond just how they work together, how do they work with the flow that you're building in your office? How does it work for you know, your clients, your operations staff? How do those pieces really fit together? Um, and I know there are hundreds, literally hundreds of financial software packages available. So you know, there's really no wrong choices as you think about that, but it can be really helpful if you're kind of struggling or thinking about that to think about how do I find a partner that can help me kind of cut through some of that? That's something we work on at Carson, um, but there's definitely other players in that space who really think about integration, pulling those packages together and, and creating that full workflow for, uh, for your clients and for your office. So the first piece that I'll take a look at is financial planning software. This is as an advisor where you're gonna kind of spend the, the bread and butter of your time putting together plans for clients. Um, as you think about that financial planning side of things, some considerations is how do you want to plan with your clients? Do you want to take that kind of cash flow based approach or do you want to start with goals? Um, and then really, again, just thinking about how do you want to share that content with your clients? How do you want to put those plans together? And um, just thinking about that. So some key players that we see in the space would be eMoney or, or Money Guide Pro. So as you think about, once you've got that kind of core planning tool, you may look at some additional domains of planning. So how do you add value to your clients? Thinking about things like uh, bringing in some estate planning or some additional tax planning. So these are really ways that you can think about how do you differentiate your practice through bringing some unique software that your clients may not have seen before. Um, so some examples in the, the space for that would be uh, using Holista Plan for tax planning. Um, you might also see bringing in a, a risk allies or a hidden levers as you think about how do I bring risk and, and kind of tell a, a, a different story than you might see in that um, money guide or e-money type of planning paradigm. So those are some additional ways that you can think about bringing that value to your clients. And again, just really important to think about how does that fit into your workflow? How do you fit that in with the rest of the software that we're going to talk about? So the next domain that we'll think about is really kind of around what you might call your back office software. So that's what you use for reporting, uh, billing, actually managing your investments and moving money around. Um, there's a ton of different places that you can do that. Uh, the firm that we work with is called Orion, but you might also see um, Adapar or Black Diamond as uh, other firms that you can work for. With these, these are gonna be kind of the workhorses of your operations team. So you really wanna be thinking about how do I make things efficient? Again, how do I fit that into my, my workflow? And then how does it play with some of the other tools that I've picked so that I can work best with my clients? I'll also talk about now uh, CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Management. So this is the, the software that you might be using, one, for kind of managing how do leads turn into uh, prospects and turn into new clients. So that's kind of the you know, initial sales funnel side of things. And then the other part of that is how do I manage work in my office? How do I take things from I had a discussion with a client to now I want to uh, turn that into a change that I'm making to their investment plan, hand that off to the operations team. So really thinking about that kind of end-to-end -end workflow of client servicing. Some tools that we see that are helpful for that, we work with Salesforce. We've also seen Redtail uh, and Wealthbox as other good examples. And when you're thinking about vetting out those CRM pieces, what you may wanna be thinking about is, again, how does it integrate with everything else? How does it fit with my workflow? And then is it something that's kind of a general use CRM where I'm going to have to build a bunch of custom workflows myself? Or is it something where we've got kind of prepackaged pieces set up for financial management so I can kind of take stuff out of the box and start working? And then the last piece that I'll talk about is uh, thinking about your marketing. How do you talk about bringing uh, new leads, identifying new leads, 
taking them through that prospect process and converting them into customers. And the real thing that you want to think about with that is just what are your objectives that you're trying to achieve as you approach any kind of marketing uh, initiative. So as you're thinking about, do I um, am I getting the right kinds of clients today, or do I want a different kind of client? Look at kind of how you're approaching clients today and thinking about, am I getting that right fit? Um, or do I need to be trying new strategies? And then think about how any of these tools will fit in whatever kind of strategies you're doing today, whether that's kind of physical mailers, sending out emails, working with other centers of influence in the space, um, or even just doing in-person events. Think about how you supplement or shift those things as you look at any of these different systems. Um, and some examples of systems you might see in that space would be uh, something like a HubSpot, that's a kind of full management system. Um, or you might see something as simple as like a MailChimp that's more of an email campaign driven kind of thing. So again, as you're thinking about all of these different pieces of software, the piece that's really important to consider, how do all of them work together? How do they work to support your practice? And how do they work to support the relationships that you're trying to build with your clients?